Hello YouTube and welcome to another Cisco ASA tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you some pretty basic Cisco ASA troubleshooting commands. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as I told you in this video you're gonna take a look at some pretty basic commands that you have to know or otherwise you will not be able to manage your devices okay so here i'm connecting to my cisco asa 5505 okay and we're gonna actually begin by checking some basic settings and firewall states so the first command that i'm gonna use but before that i have to tell you that uh, i'm as you can see here i'm under privileges exec mode okay so as I told you, the first command that I'm gonna actually use is show firewall, okay? So this command shows that uh, our firewall is in the mode router, okay? So actually this information can also be get if you go to your SDM. So if I go to my SDM and in the home page, in the general tab, as you can see, the firewall mode here is routed okay so you can configure your asa as transparent or routed mode if you want okay so here the most common way is to configure your firewall as also router okay so let's return back to our command line here so one of the most used actually commands also if you want to get some uh, info about your system is the show version command so this show version well it gives us a lot of information about our device it shows us that we are for example here using the software version of ios 9.2 okay and also the version of the asdm as you can see here i'm using asdm version 5 or 7.5 okay and also the same information can be get from the home actually page from the ESDM itself okay so you can see here ASA version 9.2 and ESDM is version 7.5 okay so this command is pretty pretty useful because it shows us also the system time so you can see here that my Cisco ASA is been up for almost uh, 14 days, four hours, okay? And also we get some information about the configuration or hardware actually. So here you can see that uh, I have actually 512 megabytes of RAM and our CPU has a clock of 500 megahertz, okay? And here you can see the different Ethernet interfaces that we have, okay? But here at the bottom, we have something pretty interesting. We have information concerning our license. So maybe some features you don't get if you don't have the corresponding uh, license for that. So for example, here we have encryption days, we have encryption three days. So this type of encryptions must you must have a license for it in order to use them for example if you are using VPN or something like that okay also we have a license for the any connect clients that allows us to connect to our ASA VPN server okay so it's always good to take a look at the licenses that you have in order to get this feature okay and this information also can be seen here on the license tab in our SDM. So if you go here to our license, you can get that information about license. We have a security plus license. Okay, we have the encryption. We have uh, how many VLANs that uh, we actually can have. Okay and the number of uh, inside host and trunk port and so on and you can click on this link here for more license in order to see all the licenses that you have and the duration also is pretty 
important to get. So here we have all our lessons are perpetual, okay? And also you can input the new activation key if you want to activate a feature that you don't have, okay? Next, so next we can actually, uh, let me first clear the screen here. So we can actually get some info about the hardware performance. So in order to see, for example, the state of the CPU, we can use the command show CPU usage. Okay. So this command will actually give us the CPU utilization for the last five seconds, for the last minute, and for the last five minutes. So here you can see that I cannot exceed actually 7% of CPU utilization, okay? You can also get some info about uh, the memory. It's pretty straightforward. Show memory. So you can get here the percentage of free memory, the percentage of used memory. And the total, as I told you, I have 512 megabytes of RAM on my system here. So all these information are pretty, pretty important if you want to troubleshoot and see if your device actually don't have load that exceed its hardware capacity. Okay. You can also take a look at uh, the processes that are running. So you can uh, execute command show processes and you can sort them for example by CPU usage if you want so you can enter here the command CPU usage and sort it in order to sort them by CPU utilization here we go so you can see here all the processes that are running in your device here okay and always CPU utilization for the last five seconds last minute and last five minutes okay and of course you get the process name so you can track the processes that are actually getting a lot of uh, CPU utilization and track them and see why they are consuming that lot of CPU utilization okay Next, next, if you want to get uh, some info about our uh, sessions, so as I, you have seen on my last video, I showed you the commands. So I will actually uh, introduce them once more here. So to get uh, info about the session table, you can execute the command show actually connection, okay? And this show connection command a lot of actually parameters that you can do so if you want for example to, sh to see all the TCP connections or the state connection that are up you can just input command show connection state up so you can see here the different uh, TCP and UTP session that are up actually okay You can also filter by IP address if you want. You can filter by port or protocol if you want. So all these commands actually, I have actually talked about them on my last video. So the show connection command is also a pretty good command that you can uh, launch whenever you want to troubleshoot some sessions, actually session, okay? There is also a command show traffic that you can execute. This gives us some info about traffic for each interface or each zone actually. So here you can track the traffic on the interface inside, outside and also if you have DMZ interface. And also you have the different physical interfaces that you have, how many packets, how many bytes that passes through them, okay?
next we'll move on to IP addresses actually so if you want to see the interfaces where, where they, with, with their IP addresses you can just launch the command show run IP addresses IP addresses so here we go here I'm using ASA 5505 so it's actually it's a switch built in so you have actually what we call VLAN instead of interfaces so here you can see that VLAN 1 which is actually our inside interface has this IP address here we have VLAN 2 which is actually our outside interface and VLAN 3 which is our DMZ so here you can see the different IP addresses attached to each interface okay you can also show IP addresses and security level if you want with the command show IP simple as that so here as I told you each VLAN correspond to actually an interface so we have VLAN 1 for interface inside VLAN 2 outside and VLAN 3 for the DMZ and each one you can get the subnet mask and the IP address okay but if you want to go deep and check for example the interface name the MAC address the link state speed the duplex the MTU and the packets and the bytes counters and errors there is a command for that which is show interface so the show interface will give these all this information about the interface name MAC address and so on to each interface okay so here for example for interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 we see that is it is up we get a lot of information we have its MAC address for example the MTU is not set but we can also get how many bytes actually and uh, packets counters and error and etc so we can get a lot of information here hardware and also logical information about each interface here okay next also for troubleshooting you should always or you can always execute the command show arp in order to see the arp entries so this is the IP addresses and corresponding actually MAC addresses associated to them so this is our ARP table and also one important thing for the firewall is the routing table so you can show this routing table using the command show route so here you can see the default route which is a static route here and you get also the connected networks attach it directly to our ASA Cisco firewall okay so this is really really important to check the route in your routing table whenever you have some connection issues okay and also you can get a lot of uh, VPN troubleshooting command but that we will actually let them to another video because there are a lot a lot of troubleshooting VPN commands actually so in this video I just showed you some very very basic troubleshooting commands and on the following videos we will go deeper and deeper into most troubleshooting commands so as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye